students and staff it's motivation monday and i'm gonna keep it brief today i know that uh, a lot of us are recovering from uh some fall activities i know there were several trunk or treats uh but we are back here on monday at lombard middle school ready to focus ready to learn uh we celebrated our fun activities last week with our student council spirit week our costume day on friday uh we also had our fall dance so again i want to compliment the majority of our students who did an absolutely outstanding job uh, showing us that we can have privileges for our students. Uh, but again, we are back to, as you get older, there are higher expectations when it comes to uh, sometimes those different types of holiday uh, parties. And so today we are back uh, to learning in our classroom. We've got a December diagnostic coming up for reading and math and we've got to start working extremely hard so we can have every single student show the growth that we know all of you are capable of showing uh, but we got to get back to work back to having those two past lessons uh, we need to increase the number of students that are again accomplishing those two past lessons we're definitely seeing a correlation between growth um, and achievement when our students are committing to those uh, minutes as well as um, our past lessons so again, we've got a birthday to celebrate, so let's get back to work, Lombard Zephyrs, and let's celebrate a Lombard birthday. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. Well, we don't need today, you know what we need today. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate... And we hope you have a terrific birthday. And now let's see what's on the lunch menu for today. I think it's time to get some lunch. Lunch, it's time for lunch. Lunch, it's time to munch, crunch, eat a bunch. It's time for lunch, not brunch. I'm starving. Lunch. lunch. On that delicious lunch menu for today, it's a chicken drumstick, mashed potato, steamed corn, a fresh apple, and a holiday cookie. And your choice of white or chocolate milk. Because I know this is one of our students' favorite lunches, I want to remind our students that you can't change your mind when you head into the cafeteria and you're like, oh, it smells delicious or it looks delicious. You can't then say, oh, I'm going to do hot lunch now. So once you uh, commit to cold lunch, that's what you have to have. So please make sure that you're not just heading into the lunch line because you think it looks good. It's causing some issues where we are not having enough food uh, for other students. So make sure if you're interested in our hot lunch, Lunches, take a look at our TV screens in the cafeteria uh, that will help you prepare for the week. Again, thank you students for following that expectation. It just helps our processes when our students do what is expected. We do have some school-wide shout outs, so let's get ready to celebrate some Lombard students. All that shout out loud, stomp your feet to the ground. All that shout out loud, sing goodbye to the cloud. A cell. 
celebration to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We gon' celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Celebration. Let's all celebrate and have a good time. Congratulations to the students of the week and our ready mathematician in our sweet 360 home rooms. I do want to pose another challenge. Um, it is very important that our students commit to our past lessons for ready math. Uh, right now we're looking at for sixth grade, we've got about 43% of our students that are accomplishing that um, at that 80% accuracy and then at uh, fifth grade, we're at about 51%. Uh, and so students, again, we want to get to that 80%. Uh, so I'm going to set some baby steps. If we can, um, at fifth grade and or sixth grade, hit that 70% of our students uh, at uh, hitting those past lessons. And again, our goal is 80% of our student population. Actually, 100% uh, is the goal. But if we can hit 70% this month, um, I'm going to allow for um, a pie in my face. And I'll even talk to Mr. Booker and Mr. Spring uh, if we can get our students to hit that goal uh, to see if you can have an opportunity to throw a pie in their face as well. Uh, it is extremely important that our students commit to that. Um, so again, um, students, I really want you to set a goal how you're going to accomplish those two past lessons. Uh, we need to increase the percentage of our students accomplishing that. Uh, now let's just review a quick behavior expectation of the week. I can follow the rules. I can follow the rules. And we'll have a good day when we follow the rules. Lombard students and staff, just to prepare our core value for November, which will kick off tomorrow, is gratitude. Uh, so again, that kindness tree, I thought it'd be great for us to think about things we're thankful for, and we can also add that to our kindness gratitude uh, tree. Uh, I do want to focus uh, again on a um, hallway behavior. So we were doing really good uh, for a while. So we kind of took some of those consequences away from our students, uh, hoping that we could see a change. But we are back to having some concerns uh, with students, again, running in the hallways, putting their hands on others. Uh, so we're going to go back to, st uh, again, staff. Um, kind of documenting those students and students you will lose, um, again, those social opportunities, whether it be recess or lunch, um, and there could be some other opportunities where you will have a reteaching session after school. So um, again, I want to make sure that we're concentrating on, again, walking in the hallways. We're at a level zero or one, depending on the situation. Again, we are practicing kafuti, uh, and again, we are asking adults for help if we need assistance, even solving a conflict that might arise in the hallway. Thank you, students, for following that expectation. I hope everyone has a great start to the week. Um, again, Monday is kind of an important day for us to start strong. Go be great, Zephyrs. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from its slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, the monster man. The monster it was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. Then you can monster man And do my graveyard smash You'll catch on in a flash Then you can monster man
Today